so today I'm going to be making some DIY alone. So here we go. The ingredients you'll need will be some garlic, ginger, teriyaki sauce. I don't have any, so I had to make some. You're gonna need some honey, some soy sauce, and some oil. And whatever toppings you like, I'm gonna be putting on onion. To start with, you're going to boil some slightly salted water. So I don't have any spaghetti, so this is what I'm using. I'm literally just using this just without the flavor. So yeah, I'll see y'all once it's boiled. So to, while it is boiling in a small bowl, we're going to mix together all of the um, liquid ingredients, like some of the ginger, obviously. What we're gonna be doing is we need two tablespoons of the teriyaki sauce. So there's one. There's two. Voila. And we also need three tablespoons of the soy sauce. Yum. So let me get that open. Doesn't want to open. Oh my goodness. Got it. Okay. Three of this. It's one. That's two. And that's three. Okay, and now we are going to add two teaspoons, no, sorry, two tablespoons of oil. So the recipe calls for vegetable oil, but we only have olive oil, so that's what we're gonna be using today. Two tablespoons, one. Voila. And we're gonna need two tablespoons of honey. Honey. Okay, so let me grab this, open it up. So just two tablespoons of that. There's one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a spoon and we're just gonna kinda scrape it out. I'm not left-handed, so this is a little hard for me. Okay, time for the second one. Voila. Just scrape it out. Voila. And now we're going to add one fourth of a teaspoon of ginger. So here's my ginger. We're just gonna add a fourth of a teaspoon. Let me get the ginger in there, there we go. Fourth of a teaspoon, voila. Okay, and now we're just going to mix together. This is going to make the sauce. Also, the garlic is optional. You guys don't need garlic. I just decided to add garlic because it sounds good. So we're gonna switch to a fork because this is not mixing the best. Oh yes, there's my whisk. So the water is not boiling yet because I forgot to turn on the stove. So um, I just turned on the stove. So now we're going to mince our garlic and cut up our onion. So y'all can have any toppings you want. You can have some chicken, some beef, or carrots, or celery, whatever you like. But this is what I'm using. So we're gonna go for two cloves of garlic. And we're just gonna put the rest in here. I don't know why I just emptied that whole thing out. Gonna mix that and put it into my pan. Okay, so we're just gonna peel it.
or try at least. There we go. So now we're just gonna put it into the garlic press and put it in the pan. So I'll see y'all once I have cut up the rest of this garlic and cut up the onions. So see y'all in just a sec. Okay, so we got our onion and garlic in here. So as you see, I didn't do very much. Um, that's just because this is only for me. So now we're just gonna pour the tiniest bit of oil. Okay. And we are just going to cook this over the stove. I'll meet you at the stove. So we have the onions and the garlic on the stove and our pasta's cooking. Um, so we're just cooking them up and I'll see y'all once everything is done and I'll be at the table with my drained noodles, my cooked onion and garlic, and my sauce. So, see y'all then. Okay, so we've got the pan and it has the pasta in it. We're going to put in my onion and garlic. And we're also going to put in my sauce that I made. Okay. Just gonna mix it up. And we're gonna try it. It looks pretty good. All right, we're just gonna real quick grab a bowl and we'll put it in there and I'll see y'all in just a second. All right, y'all, so here it is. I'm so excited to try it. Sorry, I know I'm disgusting at the moment, but it's not for the moment of truth. <laughs> okay, so it's really good, but I think I could have cooked the noodles a little less because the noodles are really cooked, but that's okay. It took me a while to find the strainer, so... <laughs> Yeah, so y'all, I think it's amazing. Y'all should really try this recipe. But yeah, bye. Have a great day, y'all. Remember that the Lord always loves you.